Hello everyone, welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to get high quality custom printed Lego clone troopers, similar to Clonery Customs, but for half the price. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into it. Now in front of me here, I have two Commander Traumas, um, and Com Commander Trauma was not the brightest clone, he was the one who ran towards um, Savage Press. I'm sure you guys all, all know who I'm talking about now. But I've got two of them in front of me here, one that is half the price of the other, and at first glance, you might look at this and be like, man, those are very, very similar looking troopers, and they are. The one on the left is actually the full Clone Army Customs one, and the one on the right is the little hybrid that I've kind of made. So I do want to start by giving you guys a quick look at the figures and just try to kind of compare them a little bit, just to show you guys what you are getting with each of these. Um, so yeah, here you, you got a good view at the front. You can see um, the left one is a little bit more realistic looking. The right one seems to be a little more um, animated style, uh, but they've got very, very similar printing um, for the torso and the legs. Um, both have feet printing. And you might have noticed on the right are on the left one that the arm printing is a little bit more um, detailed, a little bit more polished, I'd say. Give you guys a better look at the arm printing there. Uh, you can see the, the, the Clone Custom one is undeniably better, but you still get arm printing from the Fig Fab Labs um, Clone Trooper there. Also got side leg printing, side torso printing, which is awesome. Uh, both these troopers do have the same helmet. Um, which I'll get into more of the um, how I did this a little bit later on, but they do have the same Clone Army Customs helmet. Take a look at the back. Once again, a little bit more realistic on the left one, but they both have printing, um, 360 printing. So uh, this is great to see. You basically want this in all the new clone troopers coming out and all the new detailed clones all have 360 printing. So even with this cheaper option, you're still getting that um, full 360 printing. Once again, look at the side there. So both fantastic looking figures. I'm not going to deny the Clone Army Customs one does look, um, once, like I said, a little bit more polished, a little bit more complete. Once again, it is a little bit more realistic looking as well. So it is a better looking figure. But does this um, superior printing justify its much higher price point? So I'm going to get right into how I actually made this hybrid figure. So I started with um, going to my Clone Army Customs website and ordering just one of these helmets so they have these helmets for sale they have helmets for every single um, clone trooper um, that they have on the store they have their helmets for sale so super easy to acquire those helmets so went on bought a helmet for four dollars from their website and then I went on to a a site called fig fab labs they were previously known as minifig madness customs uh, if you guys have heard of that name they did kind of rebrand to Fig Fab Labs a couple months ago, maybe half a year ago. So that's their new name. Um, I'll have a link to all of the websites I'm talking to in the description down below, so you can go and check them out. But you go and you go ahead and order. Um, basically, they have a bunch of clone bodies. So they have a clone with comes with this head, uh, this torso, and these legs. So it just comes just like this. And there's a bunch of different on there. There's Trauma. I also have a few other. Um, examples here that I've done in the past with these. So we have a shock trooper here. Take a look. So that's what you'll get when you order the shock trooper. You won't get that head. Uh, I put that head on separately. But uh, there's also a, a Jesse here. A Jesse here that I used and bought the. Um, once again, you won't get, you won't get that head with it, but you will get the torso and the legs and the cloth packs. You you won't be getting any cloth packs from minifig or fig fab labs you have to get those from clone customs separately but once again clone customs has tons of different helmets tons of different cloth packs you can buy including one for trauma so currently on their website these torsos are selling for ten dollars they are actually out of stock on a lot of them um, but they are having a sale right now usually they're 15 which is still a, a great discount but right now they're on for 10 so if you're wanting some of these troopers they have a lot of the 501st um guys especially so all those you know main 501st staple names they have a lot of those they have trauma of course and some other guys um as well so once again those are all going to cost ten dollars so this what you see right here ten dollars for um the legs the torso and the head once again you can order cloth packs you can order weapons um from clone customs separately and what you want to do is get your two orders orders combine your parts and you end up with a a great looking figure such as this which um, this figure specifically cost me just $14. On the other hand, if you wanted to get this um, figure here from Clone Ray Customs, the Trauma, it would have cost you $27. So give or take a dollar, you know, um, but most of these figures are going to be around 50% off 
from their Clonomy Customs counterparts. So once again, it's really a deal you can't beat. You can get these great high quality figures for such a cheap price since a lot of, I know a lot of people um, can't justify spending $30 on a custom printed clone, but you know, they still want those unique figures that LEGO doesn't make. So this is just a great alternative um, to help get some of your favorite clone troopers in the LEGO. But that is going to about wrap up this video. I wanna keep it short and sweet, not go um, too crazy with the details. Just wanna give you guys the information as quick as possible. But if you have any questions or need some clarification or, or links or whatever, be sure to leave them down in the comments below. I'll be sure to uh, respond to those as soon as I can. Hope this little trick helped you out. But other than that, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye.